I've an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? <laughs> You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh! Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. It is the British. Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Lily-livered punk! What are you men up to? Great look for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expect to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a look of good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane! The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Man out, lads! Take this shanty town as if it were your own. Aye, but the king has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. Disperse, a lot of you. Make way for the King's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Go. Yeah, yeah. Commodore Chamberlain. Please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Quaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. 
Silence, Commodore. I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Alright, what's going on? Are they opening the fortress? They're taking over the British. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. Ah, so we need to go inside now. Let's take this route around. And we need to kill three guards from a ledge. I think we can manage that. That's the first one. Let's see if we can get any higher. Surrender him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea. Every such pirate and pirate so surrendering him or themselves, as aforesaid, shall have our gracious pardon of and for such his or their piracy or pirate is. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. any news of up here Ivan I pray you take the prudent course gentlemen and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow or until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace! Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Wow. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what oh, dignity we peace. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that poppy. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folksal headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink.
Look at him. Turn cult. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with Horny Gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of? NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You ain't a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. Alright, we need to kill four guards in one streak, and we need to use our blowpipe darts. Uh, let's do the one streak and thing here. Let's collect a couple of guards. Alright, that's them. Hold, he's trying to get away. Uh, that's one keg. Them go berserk. <laughs> You'd better eat my warning, boy. Uh, let's do. Actually, a warehouse here as well. You'll not escape. Come here. There we go. That's the third gang. Ooh, all right. There's a lot of people around here. I think we can use the preserve pants here. I want to find a nice hidden spot first. I've got a shot! Such a light up, dog! Oh! I've got a lovely clear shot! And it was the last one. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Hi, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor, tonight. Despite the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. 
Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. <laughs> well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Alright, let's steal them. Oh yes, we'll come with you. Sir, we have information for the Commodore, an urgent matter. Carry on. Lots of sour blood between them two, Rogers and Chamberlain. What's the issue? Commodore don't think much of civilians, I reckon. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. Oh, I could think of worse. Gather those two men there. Take positions and prepare to decamp on the Commodore's orders. Okay. So they're leaving for the ship to blow up the ships. Ah, he's on the ship. Right. Come back here. You're done for now. Alright, we need to air assassinate him, so we need to climb the mast again. Let's just get over to the ship. Let's see if we can jump in from here. Already forward. There we go. The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? Has syphilis clouded your mind? Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> if not for that heathen... Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Nice. All right, let's uh, carry on with the story here. The Commodore's dead. Are we ready? We're close. I've got a problem with the galleon. There's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You shot on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off its rocks. Lay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to blow the brocade. All right. We need to use a mortar a couple times and fire barrels. And we need to escort this ship here. The Brits are on to us. Look there! Last man, cleave the bilge! Fire! We can go to the cabin! Ready to fire, sir! Fire! Look, cabin! Put a shot right Damn down there! Guys. Ready to fire, fire sir! That's oh, bloody mess! Under in! Under bow line to fire! Hit him there, sir! Right, there we go. Fire! Ready to fire! Ready to fire! Ready to fire! Ship captain, keep it afloat. Oh, help me, come and get Fire! Look, captain, the whole place. Knock it out! Take a shot! Right there, sir! Fire! Right there, sir! Out of way, Under bow line to head! On your mark, come in! Fire! Take a shot! Right there, sir! Oh, come on! Hit the bastards! Alright, this is it. Pull! The fire ship's about to blow! Steer clear, Captain! We Anchor broke through! Get Damn! Now and we're home free! Fire! 
fresh air, can we? Olivia comes now, Tuta. We ain't out of this yet. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah! A mighty mess there. <laughs> Burn your bastards! Yeah! The burden of your ass, governor! Prancing about like they took a prize. 